can a slave really be friends to anybody really what can a sick man give to others except his own sickness there is a basket of apples and there is one rotten apple there sick not healthy what will this apple give to the other apples only rottenness a man who is confused full of violence can he love will he radiate love and joy to others he will only radiate his own confusion and violence to others when you say i want to be friends with somebody you want to be a well wisher how can you do good to somebody when you could not do good to yourself the fellow could not help himself all his life how can he help somebody else service is beautiful you want to serve others you want to love somebody you want to be friends with somebody you want to do good to the society wonderful but how can you do good to the society when you do not even know what is meant by doing good you are so confused if i ask you sitting over here what is meant by doing good tell me and write on a piece of paper you would write 100 different kinds of things we don't even know what is good and even what we write will change tomorrow just as your goals change your decisions change how can i be social then this social relationship that we are talking of will only be a diseased relationship and abhimanyu don't you see only diseased relationships all around people dealing in fakenesses people dealing in greed and dumping each other when the motive has been taken care of that is what is meant by being social don't you know how all these socialites behave and what is the truth of their lives before you can relate to anybody else you must know yourself and be contented with yourself only a free mind can love i am not at peace with myself how can i be at peace with somebody else is that not obvious is that not obvious i'll always be quarreling always superficially it may appear that there is peace superficially things may appear to be all right but nothing will be all right you are taught to be social all right but we don't but we were never taught the meaning of relationship only two free minds can really relate to each other slaves don't relate to each other two conditions my two conditioned minds don't relate to each other i am speaking from my conditioning you are speaking from your conditioning now what kind of relationship is possible no relationship is possible you know if you go to one of these mental asylums you might find two madmen talking to each other one is saying something and the other is standing patiently and when the first one stops the second one starts saying something and now the first one is nodding as if he is listening carefully but you go closer and you find what the two of them are saying is not at all related to each other the first one was talking about electrochemistry and the second one is talking about the political situation in nigeria and both of them are communicating and they both are talking in very socially acceptable ways they know the etiquette so it appears that everything is all right but it appears all right only from a distant you go close and you find there is no real relationship even the husband and wife have no real relationship that is the truth of our relationships because our minds are conditioned so we cannot relate to anybody 
We cannot relate to anybody. Yes, for sure, be friends. The world is your family. Be a lover to everybody. But how can you do that? How can you do that? How can you ever know what is it to be friends with somebody? Hmm? Look at what you do to your friends. Your friend wants to sit in silence and you say, Silent? What's wrong with you? Come, let's go to the bar. You appear depressed. Now the fellow is silent and you're telling him, you appear depressed. Otherwise, how can you be so silent? Let's have two pegs and everything will be alright. And there was another friend called Krishna to Arjun. He too was a friend. He too was a friend. Do you have friends like those? You can't have friends like those. Look at, look at your relationships with your friends. Only he can be your friend who tells you that you are all right. Do your friends tell you that you are good, wonderful as you are? Or are your friends telling you that you must achieve something? Then they are not your friends. Do we even know the meaning of friendship? All we know is that, sir, a friend in need is friend indeed. So whatever I need, my friend should supply me. <laughs> that is a friend who's, who takes care of my needs. That is the only friendship that you know. And you say, I have been told to be friendly. <coughs> Start with yourself. Self before service. Self before loving. Self before being friends. That's what comes first. Self. <coughs>